Hi, everyone. Hello, guys, and welcome back to my vlog. Today is January 28th, 2019. Now, before I begin, I just noticed, too, because I'm in the bathroom looking at the reflection on my mirror. I can say this for sure. The iPod that I'm using, it's not a vlogging camera, that's for sure. I mean, it's because right now I'm using the rear camera, which is the better of the two cameras that the iPod has. I've been using the front camera for the last few vlogs that I've been doing because I can look at the screen and just position where my face is. But here, if I get a little bit too close, see my face is just way too in. So again, I gotta remind myself sometime in the future to invest in a camera or a camcorder that is meant for vlogging, especially if it has like a little uh, flip screen so I can actually position my face so I don't get too close or too far. You get the gist. So right now I'm in my bathroom for a reason. I want to talk to you about the toothpaste that I'm using. Called Colgate Sensitive Maximum Strength Prevent and Repair. Um, I gotta give this disclaimer out first though. I solely am not responsible for whatever happens to your teeth if you follow my routine. So, please brush your teeth every day because I don't. So, with that out of the way, of all my life, as little as I can remember being when I've been brushing my teeth here and there, all the toothpastes that I've been using, they just don't taste good. I even remember using the... Uh, this was, I was like maybe seven or eight years old. So this was like over 20 years ago. I remember using the, the Looney Tunes themed ones. There was a, a Tasmanian Devil Wild Mint flavor. There was a, a Bugs Bunny Bubble Fruit flavor. And then there's another one with Tweety Bird. It was like a pink tube, but I don't remember the flavor of that. Probably it was like a, either cherry or a bubble gum or something. But I didn't like the flavor of those toothpastes that much. And getting older, trying the other toothpastes, including the one that I used most of my life, which is Sensodyne Pro Enamel, the toothpaste just don't taste good. That could be a factor on why I don't brush my teeth every day. I'm just guessing that. So, just to, po to get the point across, the toothpastes that I've been going for when I brush my teeth all my life just don't have good flavor at all. Until now. This is the best tasting toothpaste that I've ever had in my entire life. It is simply called Gentle Mint. It is so dang fresh. I guarantee it, you have my word. Actually, it's so good, this, it's not an empty box. It's a spare, just in case I run out of this. That's how good it is. So, I might as well explain about, well, since I'm not really quite a dentist, and I'm not an avid tooth uh, teeth brusher or whatever. I don't think there's really a profession for brushing your teeth. Let's just say I don't, don't brush my teeth too often to say that. I'm also discuss the so-called abrasiveness. I think that's the word for it. The abrasiveness level of toothpastes. Aside from non-alcoholic uh, mouthwash, which is zero because mouthwash is not toothpaste, the lowest substance that has the lowest abrasiveness level, which is a 7, is bacon soda. And I heard rumors you can actually brush your teeth with bacon soda, but I don't dare to try that myself. The toothpaste that I used most of my life, which is uh, Sensodyne Pro Enamel, I can't remember the ex exact number, but it's like somewhere in the 20s or a 30, which is super low, which is really good. This toothpaste, if I can remember, because it simply said on the chart, it's just all it said was Colgate Sensitive Maximum Strength. It didn't say anything about the prevent and repair part, but on the chart, that toothpaste was an 83. I think that would be like on the very low end of medium abrasiveness. Because if I can remember from a chart I looked at a long time ago, I think all toothpastes that have low abrasiveness, I think it falls somewhere at 75 and under. So anything that is ranked 75 and under for toothpaste abrasiveness is really good. 83, that means 83 is like low end of medium, which is still pretty good. I would say it's better than most, most toothpastes. So with that being said, 
if you brush your teeth a lot, even if, like, maybe it's twice a day, I really highly recommend you give this a uh, super awesome toothpaste, for lack of better words, and give this a shot. Because, on my end, the prevent and repair mechanic of the toothpaste, to me, is kind of secondary compared to the taste. It is the best tasting toothpaste in the world, in my opinion. Anyways, that's going to do it for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Like and, sub and subscribe for more. And don't forget to check out my gaming channel, Marcus P. Gaming, for video game Let's Play content. I will see you later, but until then, like always, take care. Thank you.